Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave Cackley's over there. He's just as excited as I am that Phil Collins is going to do a tour. Christ. Put on a box Are set. You... Everybody's excited about the fact that we talked about it on Facebook yesterday. If you missed that conversation, folks, mm -hmm. it was uh, one for the record books because yeah. uh, it, it, it's almost, Dave, it's almost as if a choir of angels started to sing when I read the interview when that Phil you're, Collins You're an was insane do, person. What? You're an insane person. No, nobody no, no, thinks no, no, that no. about See, Phil Collins. There's nobody who thinks that about Phil Collins. Oh, everybody nobody with any that. musical taste thinks that Phil Collins is anything less than an abomination to the music industry. Oh no, okay, no, no. that's See, what that's he what is. Wrong. He's no, it's 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 horrible. There's nothing no. worse on the face. Seriously, it makes me. I I envy deaf people. <laughs> I envy the deaf every single time I hear Phil Collins sing anything. And in the air tonight is the worst. Coming in the oh, air Jesus tonight. Christ. It is awful. Hold it is on. Just boom, 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 boom. I can't think. I I can't think of anything worse than Phil Collins. Musically speaking, there is nothing worse. I'm not one of these people given to hyperbole. Say, you know, oh, there's nothing worse than standing in line at a bank. No, musically speaking. There mm -hmm. is very little worse than Phil Collins or Genesis. Paper late. It's awful. Paper late. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, oh, how about that one? There must be, must be, must be misunderstanding. Okay, I, I don't know what it is. See? Yeah? It is, it's awful. Seriously. I want to rip my ears off right now. No, you don't. Come it's on. It's terrible. I know. I'm not man. kidding. Huh? There's nothing. There's nothing to groove when it comes to Phil Collins. Nothing, absolutely nothing. It's a zero. It's a less than zero. It's a Robert Downey Jr. getting high in less than zero. It is awful, and I I don't hate much. I'm not so. I'm not a hater of things. Okay, I'm usually a a live and let live sort of fella. I'm a to each their own. Whatever you know winds your crank. Uh. Not when it comes to Phil Collins, he's awful. C come That's stop it. your crying, it'll be all right. Seriously, it let's is. Just, let's just sit and listen to the Tarzan soundtrack for a no, day. No, no, never, no, yeah. no. It'll and change it, you. I, no, it will it'll not change. It'll take all this hate me. in your life and get rid of it. I don't have hate. See, you do. This is where you're wrong. Listen I to have yourself. Zero hate. And then you're in denial. When it comes to the two music seconds ago, you were Collins. telling me how much you hate Phil Collins, and then you turn around and deny. I'm not it. even. I'm not even disparaging him as a human being. I'm disparaging him as an alleged artist. Oh. Because he's awful. He's not. He's it's awful. It's not. It's awful. It's oh. I can't I can't expound anymore on how I'm getting terrible you a Phil Collins and no. I would not go. I'm getting you a ticket and you're if going. If it was the la it would if it was <laughs> If this was your make-a-wish and you wanted me to come to Phil Collins with you, I'd say, sorry, Andy. I know you're dealing you're with going. a terminal illness, but I you're cannot go. go to Phil Collins. You're going to go see I Phil Collins. I cannot. No. Yep. No, yep. I won't. No. Okay. No. You're going to go see Phil Collins? No. I tr no. Trust me on it's this. Not I, I will not go. You will. I'm telling you, I will not go. You're going to go. I'm not joking about this. Okay. If you bought me a ticket, you need to scalp it and get uh, get nope. some money if you were to nope. ever think about getting me a ticket to Phil Collins. You're going to go I will Phil not Collins. go. Absolutely not. Yeah, you are. Won't happen. And you're going to walk out of there and change, man. Happen. No. It's going to be the equivalent no, of me dunking you in the river and pulling you no. out going, you have just found the light, my friend. No. no. That's what's going to happen. Absolutely That's not. It's going to happen. No. Trust your old buddy All Andy right. here. I'm going to forget the last five minutes of okay. my life no. uh, that we've four. wasted so. talking about the worst uh, artist in the history of music. Well, you're you're just, uh, you're, you're completely wrong on that. Why don't you uh, go ahead I, and start some news and think about what idea. you said Let's and just get ready. Gloss over the rest of whatever the hell that was. Uh, the FBI is warning financial institutions that their ATMs could be targeted by hackers the Bureau has not commented on any specific potential attack. A spokeswoman for the FBI says it routinely advises industries of various cyber threats. So, oh, boy. You know, and nothing to worry about yet. Nothing to see here. You know, maybe you wake up tomorrow and you have no money in the bank because, you know, somebody's hacked. And uh, the financial institutions of America have come crashing down and, uh, you know, we're in a deep dive into the oblivion. But eh, probably won't happen. Probably won't. You know, I was – 
I was right. watching um, on Amazon uh, the, the the Prime thing. You know, do you do any of that? Do right. you do any? Do you do any now, Netflix I, or any of that? I no, I don't. I got a YouTube Premium. Oh, okay. Uh, which is good for the Karate yeah. Kid uh, series, the oh, of course, yeah. Cobra Kai. Yeah. But uh, otherwise, gotta no. watch that. Uh, it was. Oh, you are an idiot. Do not. You're the one who was just touting the hot garbage that is the music of <laughs> Phil Collins, and you're you're turning your nose up at Cobra Kai, the one of the best series in the history of television sure. and or uh, Netflix yeah. or YouTube Premium. I mean, yeah. I, 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 it's, I mean, no. Don't. Okay. Any, anyway, anyway, but they were talking about um, when the initial depression hit mm-hmm. way back in the, in, you know, in 29. Yeah. The amount of money that was lost. And, 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 you know, the same crap still goes on today. And it just, it blows my mind that it's okay for, it's okay for the banking industry to work on fake money. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> You know, we laugh, but hey, yeah, we got all is, this money going goes, on. We're all getting rich on all this money, and then one one thing goes south, and it's all gone. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah. people lost their entire life savings, and, and and you know, to to me, one thing that bothers me about the whole thing is that we we never learn from our lessons. You know, Rarely. today we our profits are all made by people just pushing money back and forth. You Pretty know much, I mean? yeah. Yeah, we, we don't make we, a we lot don't make of a product new stuff. anymore. We, we, don't, we don't. Yeah, we we don't make cars really. Yeah, I um, mean, we, we, we still make a car. When we, you know, not, that kind of thing. Did not like we used to. No, but it, it's. It, and if if you stop, and I was thinking about this last night. If you stop and think about it, when we actually built things, and when we actually had a product, and we actually had, uh, you, you know, participation in in the building of all these products and all this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. That's that's when America was really strong. Now we've got a handful of bankers that push money back and forth and try to make money right. off making money, and everybody else is sitting on the sidelines going, "Well, how come we're not in on it?" Well, well now you, you know. know. I, I, <laughs> here's the here's the thing with that. We're we're still the we're still the the the, the greatest country in the world. There's nowhere uh, there's Did no other we place weren't? where you can go and and start up a business if you choose to. And and succeed. There's no better place to go than the United States of America. There just isn't. That's fact. Uh, but you're right. We we aren't what we used to be as as when it comes to building and making things and and invent. It's just we seem to invest more in in other countries doing it. <laughs> it seems to me. I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. But I mean, but hey, you look at you look at all the advances in modern technology. That was all made here. Apple, you're not going to create an Apple uh, anywhere else in the world. Now, other countries may, you know, glom onto that and uh, rip it off. That's fine. But it's created here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I understand what you're saying. I, I think it's 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 slightly misguided, but point oh, made. Slightly misguided. Okay, great. But, but I just said guy, slightly. Coming from the I guy make, who, hey, who I'm we'll build, I Collins. make countertops. I make countertops, Of man. course you do. Built with these hands, these rough, calloused hands. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's what I do. I'm a man. Mm-hmm. And in addition to getting to people, getting people to work on time, and right. pontificating on the day's news, right. And uh, a, a expert musical critic, as uh, of course was shown earlier. So I like Lin- Linda Ronstadt's backup band. They're really good. <laughs> I don't need to defend the Eagles, man. They've defended themselves. Don't. They've defended themselves greatly yeah, what's your next low these past 40 years. All right. A legendary singer, Aretha Franklin, reportedly in hospice care, Ooh. word of the Queen of Soul being gravely ill, started coming out yesterday. Franklin, 76 years old. I, I, I was surprised when I found out she was only 76. It seems, it feels like Aretha Franklin has been old oh. since we were young. Timeless, So man. It's, it's strange, yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I, I liked Aretha Franklin. I thought she was a good singer. I don't yeah. have any issue with her i it's you know she's always seen she never looked healthy aretha franklin's never oh, seen to back me to the blues healthy. brothers she looked healthy in that she you know, she, yeah, i she, don't know she had a good but career, yeah, good career. Whole, i mean 76 kind of young but i understand oh. it's cancer so yeah. that's uh that's not a good thing yeah um i they, they tried to bring her here in i think it was 2014 mm-hmm. Seventy five thousand dollars in cash cash 
you walk up with a with a bag full of money and hand it to her, and then she goes on stage. <laughs> that's the way Aretha that's, Franklin works. That is, I love that. I love that. That's cash. the way she does it. That is fantastic. Yep. You got seventy five k? Put it in a bag. <laughs> Throw it here. Yep. Oh, I love that. Yeah, you know, one of the great one of the great voices in the history sure. of music, without question. Um. But you said something that, that, that possibly you said, 76, kind of young. In, in what era is 76 kind of young? My mom's 82. She's yeah. old. She appreciates the fact that she's old and she's, you know, Seven, doing great. 75, 76, 76 is just not that, old, not, old. that, not that yeah, old anymore, man. It's still old. It's and I, and I, you know, I think, I think it, 80 is considered old now. No, 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 no. You hit seventy year old. It's okay. No. You, you hit forty. You hit fifty year old. I, I, we're we're gonna be old soon, you know. And that's fine. Why do we gotta crap on things that are? I'm not old crapping on anything. Kinda, I'm just saying that, that seventy six is just not all that old anymore. It's old, but it's okay for it to be old. Okay. You're you're saying you're looking at old as a pejorative. I'm I'm looking at it as a, you know, it's just is. It's not years on seventy six. That's not very old. Yeah, it is. Okay. You've been on the earth over seven decades. Think about what was going on seventy six years ago. Right. You know. Yeah. It's you know we, we, World War Two, yeah. for God's sake. So you know that, that that was a long time ago. A guy named Adolf Hitler was around. The real Hitler was around. Right. How people get compared to Hitler? He was Adolf Hitler was in power seventy. That's how long she's been alive. Okay. Benoit. Adolf Hitler. That was the guy. He was Adolf Hitler. I don't know if you he was I hear he was the he was the he was the Hitler of Hitlers. That's how bad a guy he was. Not he was nice literally guy. the Adolf Hitler of Adolf Hitlers. You know why he acted no, that way? No, I I, I, I never don't know. Like, oh you sure, yeah. See that that yeah, right. Yeah, no, no. no. Like that would have changed his life. No. Good lord. Truth. No, no, no. That would have made the Holocaust worse. If that were possible. No, no. Horrible. No, no, no. What do you, well, yeah. Would have changed, well, no. changed things. You're just, you're, yeah. No, no. Local brewery com- brewing company is moving its production to Muskegon Heights. Unruly Brewing purchased a 17,000 square foot facility on Lemuel Street. That's uh, happened just a few months ago. The Muskegon Brewery had been uh, brewing in the basement of its tap room on Western Avenue since 2013. It's probably, I mean, it, it's one of those things like, okay, why are they moving it out of their tap room? They've been, you know, brewing it there for, you know, what, five years well, now. Production. But I guess so your space, exactly, you're expanding. And it's not like they're doing this a year later. I mean, this is a smart, if you look at it from a from a business standpoint, okay, five years. You've been in business five years. Now you expand. Some, some like, try to do that too quickly. Yep. And it, it becomes an issue, but you know, you, you know, you've got a good product, you know, you know, you can crank out more of it and you need uh, more room, more space. That's, that's great. Good for them. Well, you're a genius. Fantastic. I am. I'm not a genius. I am. I am kind you know of, I am do? quite smart though. I'm going to write a letter to CNN and get you on the business channel. because you're I do not want to be on CNN. I don't want to be on Fox news or CNN or MSNBC. Whatever you want to be on. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pen an no. open letter saying no. Dave Cackley business analyst is out for hire. Uh, yeah, you know what? I will be a hired decisions. gun. I, I'm I'm more than willing to be a hired gun. Okay, okay my port my portfolio is uh, leaves something to be desired, but <laughs> I can tell other people what to do with money they have that I don't have. Of course. So, there you go. I'll be I'll be at the blackjack table. <laughs> Double down. Oh, the dealer's got a got a seven, Sean. I got I got eleven. We know what's coming next. Daddy's <laughs> doubling his money. All right, sports. Tigers beat the Chai Sox nine to five. Woohoo! Two in a row. Nineteen games under five hundred. Way to go! Congratulations. We're coming for you. That's sports. Have yourself a great Wednesday. See ya, Phil Collins. Don't forget. Yeah.